Hey, what is up everybody? Mike back with another video. So today we're going to take a look at something a little bit different. We're going to take a look at something that is 1280 by 800. So that gives you that uh, nice cinema experience. It's got a much higher resolution as well. So this was kindly sent to us from Viva Bright. They're an OME manufacturer and they reached out to me and said, hey, we got this cool product. So let's take a look at this thing. So after you open the box, uh, you're greeted with a protective packaging, then you find the projector itself, we'll come back to that in a moment. Along the side there's a folded bit of cardboard, upon opening that you'll find a goodie bag. Now this will have your remote control, all of your cables and instruction manuals. So let's take a look at the bundle kit. So inside this projector you'll find the bundle kit encloses a 3 pin power lead, standard 2 meters, I think, audio video cable, very standard again, but it's very useful. This is nice, so they enclose a VGA cable so you can hook it up to your PC or laptop. We also get the instruction manual, again small little booklet, it's got colour images on it and you find a QR code if you want to look for support on the uh, website, so head over there and you can ask frequently ask questions. They also include a cheat sheet, so this cheat sheet will be tell you what to do when the projector doesn't start, image can't be focused or no sound during movie playback, handy. You also get a fully featured remote control that includes uh, audio menu right from the remote control, flipping the screen and zooming in and out as well. Very feature rich so you don't have to navigate sub menus. So one really cool feature about this projector is supports SRS audio. So SRS audio is a little bit of software that enhances the audio. Doesn't matter what input source you're playing off, it will enhance and improve your audio experience. Now I know my next remark doesn't actually count for anything, but this is just purely from an aesthetic point of view. As you use the focus wheel, it actually comes to a point when it's at the max, it can actually protrude out and it stays level with the chrome thing. So yeah, it's just something I really like. Now located next to the rubber feet you'll see a little hole on the right side. Now if you're going to use this with a projector ceiling mount there's one on each corner of the projector and that's where it mounts to. As always check the links in the video description and I'll hit you up for a really good overhead projector mount. Now located on the base of the projector you've also got the kickstand. Now this is a solid piece of plastic unlike the uh, screw in metal ones that you find in some of them. Yes there's a little bit of flex in it but it feels like a really hard piece of plastic. And you know what I'm not worried that it's going to break anytime soon. Don't get me wrong if you pull it hard it will. Uh, also on the front as you can see from here there is a pull out filter. So from the intake fan there's no dust or from any like internal light like, venting it will catch all of the dust that will get onto your lens. Now along the right side of the projector on the outer edge you're going to see a lot of venting. So you've got like a ridge along the bottom in the centre and on the top where the curve is. And um, one thing I wanted to touch on briefly, by no means is this the prettiest looking projector. The plastic has got this little shiny effect to it and it is a little bit glossy. It's not to my personal taste. Now if you take a look at the top of the projector, uh, you can see this chrome little ring. There's a centre select key and then you've got your navigational buttons to navigate through the projector on the side. And you've got a couple of buttons on the side and a small LED indicator. Now the directional control key is sitting inside the center of the chrome ring and you know what they feel absolutely fine no durability issues whatsoever. One of the coolest things about this projector is the number of inputs so starting off we've got the headphone in you've got your AV in again a 3.5 millimeter input you've got your IR as well as the front one there's one on the rear so maximum remote control you've got two USB 2.0 ports and they do support OTG in my testing you've also got two HDMI ports located on the rear, a little vent as well and finally you've got your VGA input connected up to a laptop, PC or anything like that. Now during the course of making all these projector videos one of the most common questions is can you set it up outside so we can see what it's like using it in the backyard. So this is exactly what I've done, check that out at the end of the video but for now let's go check out the actual menu. So as you can see I've got the uh, projector on the desk, I've got all the ports populated. Now I'm going to position it and get it ready for filming. Let me show you what the environment looks like. So as this projector runs off a lot of lumens I thought we'd do it in ambient light because we're going to head outside later and we're going to film in pitch black. But for now as you can see I've moved the projector, I've got it all ready and I've got a projector screen. Lots of projector reviews coming up so be sure to subscribe. <laughs> So 
So let's take a look at the picture menu. So from within that, you can change the image style. So you can have it at standard. You can also go into bright or you can have it on any kind of custom preset. You can also change the noise reduction from default to the center, to the corners or custom again. You can adjust the brightness, contrast, sharpness and color temperature as well from all this menu. So let's go take a look at some of our test video files. So other than the first thing that stands out is the pure sharpness of this image at the moment. So the first thing that you look for is the blacks. Now the blacks don't look too bad whatsoever. Along the center of the screen in the circle, you can see that the blacks are a lot more blacker as opposed to the uh, bottom corners. But you know what, the color spectrum as you look as well looks very impressive too. So if I pause the video here, you can see as a text file, it looks fantastic. So if you want to use this in like an office environment or a school, or if you like an artist and you want to project an image so you can trace over, those are kind of common questions that you guys ask me. Then the answer is a resounding yes, you can do it. Um, as far as clarity is concerned on the text file, again, I can't see any issue. So let's test a H.264 video file now. Uh, this is the same file that I test with all the projectors to keep everything fair. And instantaneously, I'm just, I think, I'm pretty sure this is by far the clearest footage that I've seen out of any projector that I've had on the channel. So yeah, big thumbs up to VivaBright for this one so far. Yeah, impressed. Let's move on. So let's try playing an animation file. Um, we've got dinosaur something here. And again, it's it's there is a little bit of distortion again in like the lower corners, but you know what? The image looks absolutely fantastic. So I've also adjusted the uh, color temperature now to medium. So yeah, you know, you can see the difference. It's not like selecting something and it does nothing. You can see the difference. So I'm going to shut up now just quickly so you guys can listen to this SRS audio enhancement software. Now you can hear for yourself that the clarity is a lot better than any of these cheap projectors. So yeah, impressed again. And as promised, I'm using this cable. I'll hit you up with links in the video description. I managed to hook my smartphone up to the projector using HDMI. No issues, just works perfectly. So guys, as promised, here you go. So I set this up all outside, ready to go, and we watched quite a few movies. It did take a little bit of time to balance it out. I think I've got the projector on a stack of Harry Potters, but look at that, 130 inches, and it's set at an aspect ratio of four by three. I can have it 16 by nine, but I just wanted to show you exactly how good the quality is. I'm recording with a 50 millimeter prime lens, and there I am standing very small, this is the clarity with me standing about a metre away with the lens. It's amazing. Now, if you're going to be using this through a PC to play games or hook it up to your Xbox, here's a video footage. I don't actually own a games console because I'm not a gamer. Um, it just it looks great. So I'm playing this at HD, but it's running through a VGA cable. Now, if you were to run this through HDMI, I have no doubt you'd get an amazing experience if you got a PlayStation or an Xbox. So right now I'm sitting about a metre away from the projector as you guys can hear um, and I've been using this for a while now. The fan noise really doesn't bother me whatsoever. It's not really an audible thing that actually ruins my experience. If you're out here playing Xbox or anything like that with a soundbar, as you can see propped up next to my leg, you're going to get a great gaming experience or if you want to be... You know, like you're an MMA or a boxing fan watching the Conor McGregor fight. That's coming up, Mayweather, McGregor. This is what I'm going to be doing. So, let me give you my final thoughts on this thing. So, final thoughts. The projector, as far as inputs goes, this is by far the most comprehensive input selection I've tested on the channel. Two USB, two HDMI, VGA and all the audio. Uh, as far as video is concerned... Again, by far one of the best projectors, the vivid colors, and you know what, the smooth video transitions when you're using it through a mobile. By appearance wise, it wasn't to my cup of tea. I didn't like the shade, but you might. It, it does look good. My partner liked it. I personally didn't. But video experience on this thing was just amazing. I have no doubt you're on to a winner, and I'll be more than happy to recommend this for both indoor and outdoor use. Perfect for family movie nights. So if you want to know where you can pick this up, please check the links in the video description. I'll hit you up with my Amazon affiliate links and Gearbest and eBay and wherever else you guys can actually pick this thing up from. By far, on the channel, 
best one that I've seen so far. I've got a lot of projector reviews coming up guys so if you're into projectors or if you're considering buying one and you found this video helpful please leave me a like it really does help me and help support my channel by subscribing and if you're already a subscriber new videos will be uploaded on every weekday at 7 to 8 p.m. I'm trying to keep this actual schedule so guys um, yeah go ahead and subscribe my name is Mike this is Tech404 and I'll see you on the next video thank you for watching